Well, welcome back to Fly Fishing Podcast. I'm going to tie one of the patterns I asked to tie up uh, very often called uh, Sparkle Dunn. It's uh, one of my ties, a very simple fly. Uses um, Metz uh, Grizzled Hackle, um, Pearl Twinkle for the tail, and then I just use um, uh, the Waspy life cycle um, dubbing for the rest of it um, in a pale olive or um, a medium olive or even a dark olive. So part of the secret of the fly is it's tied on quite a, a weighty hook in terms of what I usually try to dry it on. It's a Camasam hook, it's a B170. Um, you can tie it anything from a size 10 to a size 16. I quite like it in size 14 and 12 most of all. Um, as always I start my hackle off as the first thing. The reason I do this is I got to the stage where I was snapping off so many hackles at the final stage of the fly. I felt why not get the body a nice equal size put some of this pearl twinkle into the uh, into the tail. Get the body a nice equal size by running the shank of the hook and the stalk of the hackle together. Then if you're going to put um, a, some wire in the tail or uh, a ribbon or um, anything else it just builds up around there. I'm going to put about six pieces in. Now this um, particular fly is noticeable, it's very effective when you've got the twinkle in the tail but as soon as the twinkle goes, I like to keep that twinkle quite long, um, the effectiveness of the fly definitely dissipates. The next stage is just um, a bit of the super fine dubbing or life cycle dubbing, absolutely fine. That's sort of medium olive I'm using. Probably one of my favourite uh, is medium olive, but dark olive would do as well. And I build a set fairly sort of carrot shaped body, dubbing large at the top. It's a very classic shaped dry fly for me. Um, I put on a very, very, very bold heavy hackle. I'm going forward and back and wind through the hackle. Keep it nice and tight. Wind back so you're building up ahead. And I'm going to take my dubbing tool and just whip finish. As always, three whip finishes. And that is it. As simple as that. Take the V of the scissors. And there we have it. Um, my sparkle done. Um, the beauty about this fly is you can fish it dry. It would take fish. You can also, if the fish are rejecting this fly, but are not spooked by it, so lying in a, a run. Give it a pull, uh, get it to sink just below the surface, let it drift, dead drift, or pull it quite fast, and you'll find fish will lock onto it. It's a multi purpose fly, fishes very well. I've caught sea trout, trout grayling, uh, rainbows, browns, even char on this fly. It's um, a good little universal pattern to have in your box. When things are getting a little tough, it's worth trying a, that little combination of selling it out there. If you're not interested, you can see them in the pool. Pull it underneath the surface. That often will just bring the take. Fish it jet drift otherwise. Okay, tune into the Fly Fishing Podcast. I've got a couple more things I'm going to tie up. Um, I've been tying some friends flies for Christmas for friends and I'm just about to
put a few more in the box.